The Bermuda national cricket team represents the British Overseas Territory of Bermuda in international cricket. The team is organised by the Bermuda Cricket Board BCB, which became an associate member of the International Cricket Council in 1966. A Bermudian national team was first organised in 1891, when a tour of New York City arranged. In the years before World War I, Bermuda and American teams including the Philadelphians frequently exchanged tours, although it was not until 1912, when Australia toured, that the national team played a full international. After the 1920s, the focus of Bermudian cricket moved away from the United States towards the countries of the West Indies, although frequent tours from West Indian teams began only in the 1950s. The national team also played matches against international teams traveling to and from tours of the West Indies. However, only one of these games, against New Zealand in 1972, held first-class status. The ICC Trophy, now the World Cup qualifier, commenced in 1979 as the first World Cup qualifying tournament for ICC associate members. Bermuda made the semi-finals that year, and at 1982 edition made the final, losing to Zimbabwe. However, the side did not qualify for the World Cup, as it featured only one associate qualifier. By the time of the 2005 ICC Trophy, the number of associate qualifiers had been increased to six. By making the semi-finals that year, Bermuda qualified for the 2007 World Cup, becoming the smallest country to do so both in terms of population and area. The team also received One Day International and 2020 International status until 2009. However, Bermuda performed poorly both at the World Cup and in subsequent ODI series, and after the 2009 World Cup qualifier was relegated to the 2011 World Cricket League Division II tournament. The team has since dropped three more divisions. In April 2018, the ICC decided to grant full 2020 International status to all its members. Therefore, all 2020 matches played between Bermuda and other ICC members after 1 January 2019 will be a full T20I. Topic: History. Topic: Beginnings. The first recorded cricket match to take place in Bermuda occurred on 30 August 1844. The Bermuda Cricket Club was formed one year later and had support from locals as well as British troops. Some international games were played against American sides, principally from Philadelphia in the late 19th century, but the cricketing strength of the island diminished greatly after the First World War. Indeed, the only significant tour in the interwar years was a five-match tour by a team led by Sir Julian Cann in 1933. <laughs> Post-Second World War After the Second World War cricket regained popularity in Bermuda, and many tours arrived, including some test sides on the way to the West Indies. The first Bermudian tour of England took place in 1960 and more tours followed. Bermuda also is the place where the first non-Yorkshiremen played for Yorkshire County Cricket Club. Yorkshire traditionally had a rule that no one born outside the county could play for them, a rule abandoned in the 1990s. However, the rule was bent to allow Gary Sobers to play some games for them under the captaincy of Brian Close during a festival match in Bermuda. In 1966 Bermuda was elected to associate membership of the International Cricket Council. A match against New Zealand in 1972 was given first-class status. Since then they have competed in a wide range of international competitions including the ICC Trophy, a competition which was proposed by Alma Hunt, the Bermudian delegate to the ICC. Topic: 21st century Topic. Rise, ODI status and the 2005 ICC Trophy 2004 -2006. In 2003 and 2004 they competed in the ICC Intercontinental Cup, playing in the same group as Canada and the United States. 
In 2004, the first running of the competition, they were knocked out after losing to Canada and drawing against the Americans. In 2005, they won the American group after beating Canada and the Cayman Islands in Canada. However, the semi-final against Kenya in October was lost. Bermuda's greatest cricketing moment came on 7 July 2005 when they qualified for the semi-finals of the 2005 ICC Trophy. Qualification for the semi-finals meant they won a place in the 2007 Cricket World Cup in the West Indies and that, from 1 January 2006 until the 2009 ICC World Cup qualifier, they had official one-day international status. Rapid decline and the 2007 Cricket World Cup 2006-2007 Bermuda's first international engagement of 2006 ended in disappointment, when they lost every game on a five-match tour of the UAE. In April 2006 they hosted and took part in a 2020 tournament called the World Cricket Classic. Bermuda played their first one-day international in May 2006, and were successful in their first outing, beating Canada at the Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad as part of a triangular series which also included Zimbabwe. This made them the fourth team to win their first ODI, after Australia, New Zealand and Zimbabwe. However, Bermuda lost their second ODI, against Zimbabwe by 194 runs having conceded 338 for 7. They went on to lose the final, again against Zimbabwe. In July 2006, they took part in the Stanford 2020 knockout tournament, but lost to Jamaica. They were given $100,000 for participating in the event. The following month they toured Canada, playing a four-day ICC Intercontinental Cup game and two Otis. They lost the Intercontinental Cup game by nine wickets in a match that went into the final hour, but won both of the two Otis. They are due to play Kenya and the Netherlands in their other Intercontinental Cup matches later that year. Also in August, they played in Division I of the ICC Americas Championship and went on to win the tournament for the first time, without losing a game. In November they visited Kenya for an Intercontinental Cup match and three Otis. They drew the Intercontinental Cup match in a rain-affected game, and lost all three Otis. They then went to South Africa, starting with an Intercontinental Cup game against the Netherlands. This was drawn, but highlighted by a record-breaking innings from Glamorgan batsman David Hemp who scored 247 not out, the highest score in the history of the competition. This was followed by a triangular series against Canada and the Netherlands. They lost the first three games, but beat the Netherlands in the final, low-scoring game. At the end of January 2007, Bermuda travelled to Kenya for the Division I tournament of the ICC World Cricket League. They lost four out of their five games, a ten-wicket loss to eventual champions Kenya, a four-wicket loss to Ireland, losing by 56 runs to Canada being bowled out inside just 16 overs and losing by eight wickets to the Netherlands, their only win coming against Scotland by five wickets. They finished bottom of the group, behind Ireland on net run rate Bermuda with minus 1.310, Ireland with minus 0.061, this was followed by a triangular series, played at the Antigua Recreation Ground in St. John's, Antigua, which saw Bermuda play Bangladesh and Canada. Their opening match was against Bangladesh where they posted 205 eighths in their 50 overs, Lionel Khan top scoring with 33 off just 23 balls, however Bangladeshi opener Shahrir Nafis quickly silenced any thought of Bermuda pulling off a win, posting 104 not out and guiding Bangladesh home to an 8-wicket win. After winning the toss and deciding to bat against Canada, Bermuda scored 206 eighths from their 50 overs, an innings that was saved from collapse in large due to the partnerships between Captain Irving Romain and Salim Mukadem, for 57, as well as Lionel Can and Deliwan Borden, for 38. Can top scored for Bermuda again, this time for 42 notably off just 25 balls, including five sixes. Come the Canadian innings, opener Abdul Samad took to the crease in similar fashion to Nafi's the day before. His 83 from 86 took Canada to 135 thirds, and well on the way to victory. 
Delhi won Borden's spin bowling brought them back into the game, taking four wickets for just 33 runs, and reducing Canada to 179 sixths, but the tail end of Canada's batting order got them the 207 runs they required, with six overs to spare and losing just one more wicket, to finish on 207 sevenths. On 5 March Bermuda played England in St Vincent. England were at 286-8 after the 50 overs thanks to a quick 76 by Jamie Dalrymple and with Ian Bell and Kevin Peterson scoring 46 and 43 respectively. The Bermudian innings came to a close after just 22.2 overs with England claiming all 10 wickets with just 45 runs on the scorecard, with the highest runner getting 11. John Lewis claimed three wickets with James Anderson and Andrew Flintoff both getting two. Their second warm up match was against Zimbabwe, also in St. Vincent. Bermuda won the toss and chose to bat, but soon started losing wickets. Gennaro Tucker scored 56, but was one of only four players to reach double figures before Bermuda were bowled out on the last ball of their innings for 136. Zimbabwe lost two wickets inside the first three overs, but Sean Williams top scored with 72 not out to reach their target of 137 in just 29 overs, losing just four wickets on the way. After more than a year of unconvincing defeats, Bermuda's first appearance in the World Cup was unsurprisingly marked with three heavy defeats, having been drawn with Sri Lanka, India and Bangladesh. In their opening game they posted a meagre 78 all-out, chasing Sri Lanka's 321 sixths. In their second game against India they struggled with the ball and India posted the highest total in World Cup history, 413 fifths. In response, David Hemp posted the maiden Bermudian half-century in World Cup cricket with 76 not out. However, besides Hemp, the batsmen also struggled, the second highest scorer was Dean Miners with 21, and five of the 11 players were out for Ducks. Their final game, against Bangladesh, was hit heavily by rain, after originally being reduced to 41 overs a side it was ultimately decided that a maximum of 21 overs each could be played. Bermuda posted 94 ninths in that time, with David Hemp top scoring again with 23, but Bangladesh reached 96 in 17.3 overs. Despite losing three quick wickets, August saw them lose to Ireland and the Netherlands by huge margins in the 2007 08 ICC Intercontinental Cup, as well as an ODI series against the Netherlands. Between October and November they played the remainder of their Intercontinental Cup matches, against Kenya and the United Arab Emirates, as well as an ODI series against both nations, they finished last in the tournament. <laughs> Further decline and absolute collapse 2009 -present. The team then took part in 2009 ICC World Cup qualifier where they finished 9th, and were relegated to 2011 ICC World Cricket League Division II and qualified for 2009-10 ICC Intercontinental Shield. They lost heavily in the Intercontinental Shield. Bermuda finished last in the 2011 ICC World Cricket League Division II, thus relegating them to 2013 ICC World Cricket League Division III. In April 2013 Bermuda hosted the 2013 ICC World Cricket League Division III in which they came fourth. At the 2013 ICC World 2020 qualifier Bermuda finished 14th with wins over Denmark and a surprise win over Scotland, with outstanding bowling from Jacoby Robinson. In the 2014 ICC World Cricket League Division III, Bermuda capitulated against all teams, managing one win against Malaysia. They ended up coming last, thus relegating them to the 2016 ICC World Cricket League Division 4. In the space of less than six years, Bermuda went from being in the ICC World Cup Qualifier Division, to Division 4. <laughs> Tournament history Cricket World Cup Topic ICC World Twenty Twenty Qualifier Two thousand thirteen to fourteen TH Place Topic World Cricket League 2007 Division 1, 6th place 2011 Division 2, 6th place, relegated 
2013 Division 3, 4th place 2014 Division 3, 6th place, relegated 2016 Division 4, 4th place 2018 Division 4, 6th place, relegated Topic. ICC Intercontinental Cup 2004, first round 2005, semi-finals 2006, first round 2007-08, last place 8th 2009-10, Intercontinental Shield, last place 4th Topic. World Cup Qualifier 1979, semi-finals 1982, runners-up 1986-4 th place 1990, plate competition 1994-4 th place 1997, one plate competition 9th place 2001-9 th place 2005-4 th place 2009-9 th place 2014, did not qualify 2018, did not qualify Topic. ICC Americas Championship 2000, runners-up 2002-4 th place 2004-3 road place 2006, 1, Division 1 2008 to 2 ND place division 1 2010 to 3 road place division 1 2011 to 3 road place division 1 2013 to 2 ND place division 2 topic records and statistics international match summary bermuda Topic: One Day Internationals. Highest team total: 275 eighths v Ireland, the 31st of January 2007 at Nairobi, Jaffrey. Highest individual score: 102 not out. David Hemp v Kenya, the 6th of April 2009 at Potchefstroom. Best individual bowling figures: 5.53rds. Dwayne Leverock v Kenya, the 14th of November 2006 at Mombasaota record versus other nations. Topic: 2020 internationals. Highest team total: 99 sevenths v Scotland, the 3rd of August 2008 at Belfast. Highest individual score, 37 not out, Stephen Outerbridge v Scotland, 3 August 2008 at Belfast Best individual bowling figures, two halves, Irving Romain v Ireland, 3 August 2008 at Belfast 20i record versus other nations <laughs> ICC Trophy Highest team total: 407 eighths v Hong Kong, the 13th of June 1986 at Nuneaton, England. Highest individual score: 132. Gennaro Tucker v the USA, the 7th of July 1995 at Waringstown, Northern Ireland. Best innings bowling: 6.38. A Edwards v Fiji, the 11th of June 1986 at Wellington Cricket Club, England. Topic. Current squad The following players took part in 2018 ICC World Cricket League Division 4 tournament Taryn Frey C. Dion Stovall VC. Okara Bascom Stephen Bremer Quasi James Kamau Leverock Trey Manders CJ Outerbridge Stephen Outerbridge Jacoby Robinson Mackay Simmons Chair Smith Charles Trott Gennaro Tucker Topic. Coaching staff Chairman of High Performance Committee, Gershon Gibbons 
Head coach, Clay Smith ASST. Coach, Lorenzo Tucker Bowling coach, Lorenzo Tucker Fielding coach, Reginald Tucker Mental conditioning coach, vacant Fitness trainer, Nick Jones Head physiotherapist, Danielle Richold Masur, N. A. Performance analyst, Lorenzo Tucker Topic. See also Bermuda Women's National Cricket Team Bermuda at the Cricket World Cup List of Bermuda ODI cricketers List of Bermuda 2020 international cricketers Bermudian national cricket captains